so. Just to go to, to show you how crazy our world is becoming. Okay. Here we are. Um, let me find it here. Where are you, you two? Where are you? I can't find you. You're making me mad, baby, baby, baby. Where the heck is my YouTube? There it is. Talk about dumb and I don't care. Jenny Crack Corn, I don't care, okay? This nonsense right now that I just... Let me go my history. Good Lord. You know, so here, here's the scoop. S women now, or a woman, is trying to get women to go on a sex strike, they call it. So you want to abstain from fornication. To punish abortion. Thank you very much. Close your legs and you ain't got to worry about getting an abortion. You should have went on a sex strike long before Roe vs. Wade was ever an issue. Or ever it be came about. You should have been closing your legs, okay? D-Roy Cruz don't care if women uh, close their legs, go on a, or or let's put it their way, go on a sex strike. I don't care. I don't sleep with abortionists. If I did go out there and meet a woman and decide to, you know, fall into that trap. It wouldn't be with no abortionists. It wouldn't be with some woman who thinks it's nothing to kill a child. And let me tell you something. I did a video earlier today. It was a short. Only women can bring human life into the earth. Only women can bring human life into the earth. If I had all the food locked in this apartment that everybody in the community need, let's say we was in the apocalypse and I had all the food and that people are out there starving and I got all the food. Walmart and Giant Eagle is closed. I got tons of food in here. Got enough food for everybody. You mean to tell me ain't somebody going to break in here and come after my food? Or kill me to get to my food? Now, if everybody got food, then yeah. I can be one one out of a bunch that don't want to share his food because everybody got food. See what I'm saying? Okay. So what are you saying, abortionists, that, oh, because there's good, wholesome Christian women out there that can have children, you have a right to abort your kids, to kill your babies, when... You are pregnant. You have a life in you that is about to come out and join the human race. You kill that child, you subtract from the human race. 
Only women can have babies. It's not like anybody can have a baby, so a woman's body is her right, her choice, because everybody's having babies. No, that's not true. Only women can have babies. Women are responsible to bring human life into existence. This is the way God created the woman. The woman is the reproduction cycle that all human beings come from. You can have all the sex you want, but if a woman don't get pregnant, there is no human life. So the more people that have abortion, the more people that are going to be on the planet. Matter of fact, some people believe that a lot of this abortion stuff is governmental or it's, or it's you know, um, New World Order type of thing where they're trying to push abortion for population control. I don't know how much of that is true, but you got to be some kind of crackpot whore, not to mention a total idiot to think that, oh, because it's your body, you shouldn't be responsible about childbirth. This is how bad we've gotten. This is how dumb and evil we've become. Yes, your body, your choice, but like I said, a couple videos ago when you have a baby there's you there's your body and then there's a baby whose life support is inside your body okay if it's your body your choice you should lose a finger or a kidney or a lung or or, or an eye, or, or you know, a, an a organ every time you abort a child. Your body, your choice. If it's your body, your choice, how is it that the baby comes out and you still have your body? You got everything. You got, um, you got kidneys, you got lungs, you got new reproductive or your reproductive organs go back to place once you've healed you you've got you know all your hands your fingers your eyes your nose your mouth your teeth of course your teeth lose calcium whenever you have children you know your body your choice okay let's put it in a man's point of view my body my choice Okay, it's my choice whether I want to work out or not. My body, my choice. It's my choice whether I want to eat vegetables or eat meat. It's my choice whether I want to go to work every day. It's my choice whether I want to drive a car. It's my choice whether I want to lay down and have sex with anybody. It's my choice um, whether I want to go to college, whether I want to, you know, it's my choice, my body, my choice. But I remember not too long ago, I almost gave one of my kidneys away to a friend of mine. And I was so glad that something happened that I stopped. I think it was because my, my, um, blood cell level didn't match or something like that. Um, however that goes. I think I wasn't a match. I'm, I'm not sure what happened, but, you know, she was, she was dying. She's a good friend of mine. Her husband's, her husband wasn't a match. And a lot of people that went to our church and that weren't a match. So I was, I wanted to see if I was a match and I wasn't a match. I believe that's what happened. But because, you know, for the survival of this woman, I was about ready to give her my kidney. I'm glad 
that I didn't because I didn't know I was going to become diabetic, you know. Um, I think that giving your organs away is fine until you become sick and then you're going to wish you didn't give them away. Um, you know, that's the risk you take. And it also, when you give organs away, especially organs like a kidney, um, you run the risk of getting diseases faster if they're, you know, in your system, if they're in your family tree or whatever, you run the risk of getting diseases faster by giving organs away. That's why a lot of people turn down organ donations. Okay? But what if people stop, like I said earlier, what if people stop giving blood? What if people stop giving organs? There's people out there that need heart transplants and there's people out there that need kidney transplants bad. And there are people who sign papers. They do not want any of their organs donated when they die. Okay? You got to be an idiot when a woman is the only person that can bring human life into the earth. You got to be an idiot. You got to be a straight out demonic whore. Just sit there and say, my body, my choice, when it comes to a child because nobody can bring a child in here but you only women can bring children into the planet and those children grow up to be adults and whether or not however their parents were or what they became or what they did or what caused this child to come out on the human race okay this child has the potential of being everything that you never been he has a choice to be a Christian a good Christian he has a choice to be police military like the one kid I told you where this woman got raped. And she thought about aborting her child. And her and her husband talked about it. And they prayed about it. Because we're Christians. That's what we do. We, When something is that bad, we call upon the Lord. Okay? Lord would never, ever. She knew. She didn't pray to get God's permission to get an abortion. She knew that's a total no-no. But she because she was afraid that she might not love this child if she brings this child into the world. She may not love him. It's okay. You can give him up for an adoption. They say adoption isn't easy. It, maybe it isn't, but there's thousands of women out there, if not millions, that cannot get pregnant. thousands and they've made up in their mind that they want to adopt children all the way from you know um good christian you know wives all the way to lesbians and 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 you know transgender couples and all that nonsense okay after we get done with Roe vs. Wade, we're going to go over there and make some restrictions over there. They're going to be burning some more stuff down. Now they're out there, you know, uh, attacking clinics and all this stuff. They, they're hating on women. Now they're attacking women that can have children. It's, it's going to get bad. But you know what? They did the right thing by, by addressing this. And you know what? They're not really going to stop abortion. Because they're just going to take abortion like it was back in the day. They're going to take it underground. People are still going to do it. And yet, they have not decided whether it's going to be done in every state. They don't know that yet. They don't know. 
the states all have to come together and agree. But I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think, but the point is, What kind of women am I facing every day? And it proves my point in this here clip that I'm getting ready to put here, shoot here. Um, it proves my point. Uh, It proves my point. Here it is. to have sex until abortion rights are enshrined federally in the law. So we took to the streets to get a common man's reaction. Do you think that's effective at all? I, I don't think so because I don't, not enough people are going to do it. I don't think that anybody's going to go on strike against sex because it feels so good and it's also a business. Everybody's always going to want to have sex. Sex strike? A sex strike. Um, I guess that's great for women who can choose not to have sex. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure if it's going to change much. What if we use our most powerful protesting option and withhold sex from penises until this is made right? I think that's a horrible idea and that's not an effective way to handle abortion at all. I don't think that'll be effective. I think it's going to be more aggressive than necessary. I think it's going to be a little bit backwards. The sex strike protest probably won't work. I mean, I'd be willing to give it a shot if it would. Is that a good or effective approach? I would say I agree with it. Really? Now, do you agree with it? I don't really understand what a sex strike is, to be honest. A sex strike is where the girl would not have sex with you. Oh. Um, I think it varies person by person. But, yeah, that's a tough one. I notice he got very sober after that explanation. <laughs> Not surprising. Women in the world have conducted sex strikes in history. We have more power than we think we have, and some of it could be right in the bedroom. I think that women have the right to do with their bodies whatever they want to do, and so I support people in this movement. I think a sex strike is the way to go to awaken people's attention. I don't really have a comment on that. So you would be, you would be prepared to have your girlfriend or significant other go on a strike until abortion is legal national. See, I don't got no girlfriend, so I can't really say that, but, um, I mean, again, if they want to do that, they want to live their life, and I love them, you know, I'm going to support them, like. So you'd be willing to embrace celibacy? Yeah, bro, like, cause I ain't going to lie, like, How long? You know, how long? See, see, I, I don't know. I don't know. Disagree with the Roe v. Wade thing. You need to make a good decision on who you're going to have a child with, period. Like, 60% of the who's not our race are suffering from the abortion. We need to make better decisions. Our women need to make better decisions of who are have, they're having children with. Your reaction to the sex strike idea? You think that's effective? I think it can be. It's never really... I mean, like, but at the same time, like, are women really going to do that? Women been on strike. <laughs> They've been on strike. Most guys are not with anybody. So, I mean, what's the difference? What's that going to hurt us? Laura, okay. the, the, I love him. I have to tell you, this was insightful. Okay, so, um, again, um, a woman has a right to do whatever she wants with her body, but there's a body growing inside her. And the woman, as you saw, the one woman who was part of this, you know, uh, movement that you're trying to build, she said that we, she said that 
that we need to we need to turn down penises okay until they hold, hold that hold, hold up do you think that anybody is going to suffer from your lack of fornication no it makes the world a better place nobody's going to suffer from your lack of fornication some people don't deserve to be having sex sex is for married people and there is not a lot of married people what one out of a one out of a trillion there is not a lot of married people having abortions even if they didn't plan on having children married people look each other in the eye and they say what are we going to do matter of fact if you're really 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 a good couple and you really really love each other that third person brings y'all together that third person in the middle that child even makes your love even more stronger and gives you an, an ambition now don't get me wrong there's some couples out there that their relationship is all about money they might be crazy dumb ones to get an abortion okay because they can't afford to let a child come between them and their money but to you and and you know I'm listening to all these people and I'm realizing what kind of people we have in this world what kind of people do we have in America I mean we got people to come over here to America to start a family because they don't want to start it in their own country Only Americans can be this wicked. Only Americans can be this sick in the head. Ladies, again, you are the only one that can carry human life. You are the beginning of all human life. It is not your body. It is not your choice. It's your body as long as there's not another body growing inside of it. Oh, so I'm a fornicator. And I have to have sex. And... For some reason, the birth control isn't working. So, I need the right to kill the baby. Do you understand that every time you get pregnant, you put yourself through, you know, nine months of an ordeal that most women, you know, young mothers fear. Even the ones that want to have children, they fear this. It's a scary moment in a woman's life. But y'all so evil and so nasty, y'all have sex, and I guess you're having sex, 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 while you're pregnant. And then, somewhere in there, you decide to kill this baby because I guess the birth control doesn't work or you don't like birth control. You see how irresponsible this is? Why kill babies? Why not just keep from having babies? Why kill babies? I don't care whether you think it's just a vegetable or 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 a crumb with a heartbeat or 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 you know um, a demon in your belly okay look why not just be responsible about pregnancy why not just refuse to get pregnant why do you have to kill babies 
Just stop getting pregnant. And you don't have to stop having sex to stop getting pregnant. This stupid woman or group of women. Well, we should abstain from sex. We should go on a sex strike. In other words, you're going to abstain from sex until, um, until I don't know what you think, until whatever, okay, because you don't know that. But, okay, so you're trying to punish your lovers, your partners for, no, 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 no dumb butt, no whore, you are deciding that since you can't kill babies, why don't we be more responsible about sex and stop having so much of it? <laughs> Best thing you said ever. Best thing you've said so far. Bravo. That's what you should have been doing in the first place. Shouldn't have been no Roe versus Wade. What you should have been doing in the first place. Being responsible about getting pregnant. Being responsible about how much sex you're having. Being responsible about birth control. Being responsible about when you want to have a child and when you don't want to have a child. There is no excuse for abortion. Because whatever happened to you in life, the hardest part about having a child is having a sick child. And this is the only time I've ever felt like death would have been better off for a child. For a child to come out of the womb a handicap. To come out of the womb blind or deaf. Or uh, to, to come out of the womb, you know, like I, I, I go to these hospitals and I've seen these kids. And they got to live their lives like this. And their poor parents have to, they got a child they got to have in a nursing home. Child can't even come home. He's so sick. Child can't even come home. But I've also seen a lot of handicapped kids. They couldn't grow up handicapped like that. They couldn't grow up. They couldn't get a certain age and be sick like that. So they, so they died. And the parents had the freedom to, you know, live their life, to live on, you know, and do other things. But... We do it for dogs, though. Dog comes out with no legs. We get a, we get a, we go get a wheelchair for the dogs. Nobody aborts puppies. Okay, nobody aborts puppies. I've seen, you know, I, I, I just, this guy that worked on my vehicle when I had my vehicle. He had a dog that's been blind and deaf from birth. The dog could sense your smell. And, you know, you didn't have to worry about this dog getting ferocious with anybody because he smelled a human. He was just happy, you know. But he couldn't see you and he couldn't, he couldn't hear you. He just sensed your coming because he could smell you. That was the only respiratory, you know, sense that he had was his nose. He could smell you coming. He could smell that you were okay. But he couldn't see you. Neither could he hear you. You can't call his name and tell him to come here. Okay? They had ways of using food and snacks and different things to get the dog to, you know, go places with them and stuff like that. Okay? But how many people do you know abort puppies? Okay? Now, I have heard stories um, of the mother, the dog mother, killing 
the puppies if the puppy was sick to protect the other puppies. I've heard stories about stories like that, which to me, that's very intelligent. Although a lot of humans, when the mother wanted to kill the puppy, they saved the sick puppy and healed the sick puppy. They had to get the puppy away from the mother so she wouldn't kill her puppy. But we can't do that for humans. We just want to, oh, you know, we're going to, we're going to like start attacking places where women are having babies. Since they won't let us kill our babies, we're going to make it hard for them to have a baby. What kind of demonic nonsense? Okay. My God. If I hated this planet, I hate it now more than ever. Because this whole road versus Wade overturn thing is exposing the people that are next door to me, the people that that, that are around me, that you know, is exposing the street people. They're not just street people because they don't know how to stay home or they don't know how to have a home. The street people because of the nasty, evil ways that they, you know what I'm saying? It's just evil. And that woman who was on that clip, and she said that we should abstain from penises. Okay, I'm trying to think. Do you just lay there and let random men come in there and 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 penetrate you, okay, and get you pregnant? Do you just lay there waiting for somebody to get you pregnant so you can kill your baby? What's going on with these kind of people? What's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. Same thing that's going on with this every other person being a gay person. Every every two people, well, I say every four people being transgender. Okay? God is giving the wicked over to themselves. We are now more demonic than ever before. These ideas of killing babies and and making everything backwards in biology. These are laws and rules of Satan. Look it up. These are laws and rules of Satan. This is stuff coming straight out of the satanic church. This is Satan. It is. And these whores out here that are doing this garbage are full of the devil. I wouldn't commit fornication right now even if I was not a Christian. Because I don't know what kind of demonic spirit I'm laying down with. You gonna kill my baby? You wasn't gonna tell me that I got you pregnant? You just gonna kill my baby? You are not going to give me the choice of taking care of this child? Your body, your choice? But I thought we was in love. And so, your body, your choice, you have that right to, and I'm surprised there's not, you know, headlines in the newspapers of where men are killing women for killing their unborn children. I'm, I'm surprised I don't see headlines all over the paper where men are just shooting women for killing their babies that because they were the father, they wanted to have the baby. And a father has that right. If a man gets a woman pregnant, he has that right to expect her to have his child. If she don't want...
to, to take care of the child, have the baby, and he'll take care of it if he wants that child that much. But obviously, come on, people, obviously, this, this, this right here that I just showed you exposes who these abortions are ran by. They're ran by whores. They're ran by fornicator extremists. That's who they're ran by. They're not ran by married couples. They're not ran by boyfriends and their girlfriends who've been together all this time and one day she just, they find out she's pregnant. No, these are ran by sex workers or the number one cause of, the abortion, of abortion. 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 The number one cause of abortion is sex work. Last I checked, sex workers spend a lot of money on birth control. Okay? Sex workers, you know, um, a lot of times expect a man to wear a condom. Sex workers, most of the time, you know, a lot of the times, don't want a man to let his sperm go inside them. They want him to withdraw or wear a condom, okay? But, I mean, what kind of just lay on your back are you doing, women? You just laying on your back and when it's all over, you'll just kill the baby, like, no responsibility whatsoever. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm done talking about this. Um, this is the last thing I'm going to say about it. I'm glad that I'm a Christian, let me tell you. I'm so glad that I'm a Christian because the people in my culture are not like this. Christian women have made it a point to, if they want to have sex, if they want to, to um, be committed to someone and they want someone that they can trust and that person trusts them and they want to share everything. They get married. That's another thing. These are the unmarried people that are getting this nonsense, okay, and fighting for it like there's no other ways around it. There is ways around it. Only a woman can bring human life into the planet. No other species can bring human life into the planet. And you are so ignorant and so selfish that you would say, my body, my choice. That baby's not your body. If that baby's your body, that baby should be with you to the day you die. That baby never comes out. That baby is not your body, sweetheart. Your body is used as an oven to cook something in the human life. You got, you know, they call that something in the oven. You got something in the oven there. That unless you love it, it does not belong to you. You can give it away. But killing it, it doesn't matter whether you kill it after it's born with a big old butcher knife or whether you kill it by all these different types of abortions. It does not matter. It's still murder. It's still murder. I would like a list of all the women And I would like to memorize that list of all the women out there, which too many of them are in, in on this. I wouldn't be able to remember all them women. But I would like a list of all those women so I can have them executed. They can burn that stake that was meant for the Christians. Put them on that stake. 
burn these women at the stake. Down with these fornicators. That way, you kill the woman, you you save human life for the women. That, these, these women, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about, I, instead of murdering babies, your body, your choice, why don't you kill yourself? Be responsible. If you think it's so easy for a child to die when there's a heartbeat there, you think that child feels no pain, that, you know, why don't you kill yourself? You're not bringing human life into to this earth anyway, and you ain't doing nothing but laying on your back, okay, and increasing fornicators. So you're really not doing much of anything. The next time you get pregnant, if you kill the baby, kill yourself with it. How about that? Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Since you're so irresponsible, why don't you kill yourself? We ain't got to worry about you getting pregnant. I'm probably going to... This video is probably going to get, get flagged. I'm probably going to have to redo it. But this is crazy. Killing babies senselessly over and over and over again like clockwork because you were so goddamn irresponsible. Now I know I gotta go because you done made me mad. God bless you. I am D-Roy Cruz, your life applications officer. Your body is not your choice. Because there's a person growing inside your body. So once you get that person out of your body, then you can go back to saying, my body, my choice. But while you are bringing human life, and you are the only one that can bring human life into the planet, okay? Until, as long as that human life is inside you, it's not your body, it's not your choice. What do they say for pregnant women? They say, well, be careful what you eat. Be careful how you take care of yourself. Watch what you do physically and all like that. Because you have a child. My wife, my ex-wife, when she was having my daughter Rachel, my first child, we worked together. They were very, very careful um, of how everybody treated her while she was pregnant. She opened her mouth, okay, about people being, you know, irresponsible around her. Being irresponsible around her, knowing that she's pregnant. Men not wanting to be a gentleman to her. Knowing that she's pregnant. She's not going to be there that long anyway. She's going to get ready to go on maternity leave. But she's got so many months before she goes on maternity leave... She can still work. She can still do light duty. And people were so ignorant. People got sent home on suspensions. Because they disrespected a pregnant woman. Okay. Your doctor tells you. That your body is not just your own. When you got a baby in your body, you got to change everything that you do to protect that baby. You can't eat like you want to eat. You ain't supposed to be smoking. You ain't supposed to be drinking. You ain't supposed to be doing drugs. Why? Because it's not your body, your choice. If it was your body, your choice... You could still smoke, you could still drink, you could do crazy things 
just like you did before you got pregnant. But the further and further and further and further you get in the months, you have to be very, very, very careful of how you, what you do with your body because you have a person growing in that body. It's no different than, okay, what if we said my car, my choice? What if Uber did that? Uber would be out of business. My car, my choice. Okay? I know I know guys that have gotten fired over Z Trip and Uber because they pick people up, drive like a maniac, slamming on the brakes at red light, slamming on the brakes right behind other cars and you know you know, speeding around the block, you know, the person in the back seat falling all over the place. They driving like a maniac. Guy calls Uber and says, hey, this is what happened. You never see that same driver ever again. You'll never see that driver again. Why? Because you got a person in your back seat. It's not just your car. It's not just your choice. Forget about the police pulling you over. You got to be careful because you have a passenger in the, in your back seat that you have to protect. Hello, common sense. Are you there? I hate the level of excuses, okay, and whitewashing in this country right now. There is no excuse for abortion. None. God bless you. I am D. Roy Cruz. I am your life applications officer one more time. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.